there everyone, welcome back to Atomi Masters. Today we're going to do the fourth set, which is the cleansing set. So we have the deep cleanser, we have the foam cleanser, we have the peeling gel, and we have the mask. Okay, let's start with the deep cleanser. A, for, for the deep cleanser, it's good and it's perfect to remove makeup, you know, with the makeup remover, and uh, the dirt, and the, all the impurities that's embedded deep in the skin that uh, like, you know, uh, black heads or white heads. So uh, it's, uh, we need to use the deep cleanser every evening. So what, what we can do is right now we're going to start with the deep cleanser. It's very simple. Just squeeze just a little bit, not too much. And then what you need to do is just even it out and put on your face and massage it all over for two minutes to rub to soften the, the skin because it's got ginseng and ginkgo and green tea extract and carrot extract so to soften the skin to uh, as you massage it helps with the blood circulation and also uh, the reason why we massage is to get all the impurities out that is uh, embedded on the skin for some time because I have uh, family members that has got uh, blackheads that cannot be removed with so many other products for one and a half years of one year plus but with this product she said that the, her blackheads came off with the deep cleanser so you just remove, massage then you see right now it softens the skin and allows the dirt that has been on this in, 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 in the inner layer of the skin to come up go everywhere and then good, we are good so of course to, to remove it we use a facial tissue and then nicely we just wipe it away wipe it very well okay, wipe it all the dirt see all the dirt, all the makeup Wipe it away. Take your time, don't rush. Just here, you have to wipe it very well and near the nose area. And then near the chin, around here, the forehead. Okay, it's good. And of course, again, if you forgot the neck, you know, massage a little bit. You know, so Remove it, the dirt here, you know, just remove the rest of it. Yeah. Then okay. it's good. So after the deep cleanser, because the, that has got uh, the oil base, so we need to remove the residual, the oil, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, very well. So it's very important to move on to our next cleanser, which is the foam cleanser. The foam cleanser is very good and the foam cleanser is very concentrated because all the bubble, all the air inside the foam cleanser has been vacuumed out, sucked up. So the foam cleanser is very concentrated. So you just squeeze a little bit, it goes a long way. Just a little bit on the hand and of course again here we just don't, don't forget to wet your hands, wet it and wet it so that you can form it very nicely and form it very well. Just keep rubbing. See, form up very white. The longer the better. You just keep forming. And for another two minutes, the same. The longer you, you form, the longer you rub it, the better. Make sure your hands is, is wet enough. And don't forget the nose. Yep, very well. Form it very well over the whole face and the eye area. Just be, be careful of the eyes. Don't get the cleanser inside your eyes. And then, of course, the neck. And then here, you rinse it out. Okay, rinse it out with 
a wet towel. Okay, you can either go to the your bathroom and rinse it out on the basin or take a wet towel, rinse it nicely and of course again once after you rinse it off very well on the basin in the bathroom you use a wet towel just to wipe the rest away to make sure wipe it all very well the residue from the deep cleanser the oil and you know near the forehead the hairline the eye area I pick the nose area the mouth the side and then wipe it very nicely and then after that this you're good so okay the next step is the peeling gel the peeling gel is very important because the peeling gel helps to remove dead skin cells uh, if, for information all of us have dead skin cells whether you like it or not so our dead skin cells uh, shed off every two weeks and if we do we cannot shed off the dead skin cells using the foam, the foam cleanser or water. So uh, what this uh, peeling gel does, the Tomi peeling gel does, is got willow bark extract. So the willow bark extract will soften this, the skin, the dead skin, to soften it. So later on you can rub it out, rub out all the dead skin. So I'm going to, uh, dead skin cells. So what I'm going to show you is the same thing, put it up, put it on, squeeze only this much. No, no need to put so much. And then after that you just Massage it all over again the nose area, the forehead. Massage it all over. Okay, make sure you have all over and then spread it out. Once you massage it, it's again to help the blood circulation. And don't forget the neck. Yeah, your neck also has dead skin cells. And after that, leave it to, for two minutes. Yes, now is after two minutes. Now you begin to rub, uh, just rub, rub off the dead skin cells. Yeah, you can see right here. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't be having so many dead skin cells, <laughs> but it's, it's all good. So just rub, keep on rubbing until all the dead skin cells come out from your face. You see, you see the dead skin right here. Yeah, rub it up. All good. And then, of course, don't forget the neck. You can, you can rub the same thing. Just don't be afraid. Just rub because the, the peeling gel has got willow bark, willow bark extract. It's already helped. To, it's antibacterial. It's good for acne skin because it will, you know, uh, kill the germs and the bacteria. And also, it has got uh, grapefruit extract. As I've said, which helps to also clean the acne skin, trouble skin. So not forgetting, it also has fresh organic herbs, which is very moisturizing. So again, you see, so almost all up already. Yeah. See, uh, once you finish rubbing all the dead skin cells out, the skin will feel very nice and very fresh. As if you something just came up on the skin, as if you if you have never done a, a peel, this is perfect because you feel that as if some a layer of skin just layer of dirt just come up come up, yeah. And then, yeah. Then after that, it's good. So the what you can do right now, use a very warm towel. I put it over your face, okay, so that it will helps to. Uh, clean the rest of the uh, dead skin cells out uh, and wipe it out. So not too hot, just, uh, just you can see it's steaming hot. Just put it over. And just relax. Enjoy your steam. <laughs> yeah, it's very relaxing. And then massage, okay. It's the pressure point. Massage. Hold the towel here at the bottom like this to so to help to steam well to open up the to clean the face well as well as to open up the pores to prepare your face for the mask. Okay, now then you just wipe it away, wipe the rest of the dead skin cells away with the towel. Your eye area gently, and the nose. 
the mouth area, and the cheeks, okay, and then the neck. Okay, so it's all white clean. So at least you don't have the dead skin cells just all over. So now it's good. So now you you feel your skin, you feel it's very clean as if you're like, oh, very, um, you know, the, it's, you know, if, if you have not done a peel, you will know what I'm talking about. It's like, you know, a, a fresh skin, you know, it's like not a, not a hard, not the thick skin. It's like, you know, I've got a friend who say this feels like <laughs> a baby's butt. So very nice feel. So, okay, now it's very clean. It's very good. No, no more dirt. It's all well. So in a steam with a very warm a towel to help with open up the pores to prepare your face for the mask. Okay, the mask is very important because it contains the following fresh organic herb. Okay, like the, uh, the, we have the jade powder and the amethyst powder, which uh, activates the circulation. Okay, and on the on the on the skin and restores help the skin to stay healthy. And also, of course, the pores definitely the sorry the mask definitely tightens. The pores and those of some of uh, my friends has got, when they use a the mask, they, they com commented that, that they have large pores on the face, around the nose area, on the around the forehead, around he this and uh, this area T zone and the chin. Then they they realize the mask has helped them to tighten the pores around this area, and of course again this also has a firming and lifting effect. That's the beauty of the mask, and of course lastly is the citrus grandis, which is the uh, grapefruit extract. The, which helps to also uh, is perfect for super sensitive, sensitive skin as well as for uh, skin with that has acne. So it help to uh, mask and you know mask up the impurities you know from the acne from the dirt in, inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to start applying it by squeezing a little bit, okay, and then just like painting painting on the face, starting with the nose area. Okay, make sure your hands away, nose area. And then continue to paint. All right, don't be afraid, you know, because uh, for those of you who are artists, who are artists, you'll be very good at doing this. Okay, so paint it. And then if you don't have enough, you can squeeze it some more, a little bit more. So that the your whole face is, you know, has, has has mask on because you do not want any area of the face to miss out the mask. You know, okay, eye area. You no, know, not too close the eyes. And then your nose. You can put extra more. You can put more on the nose because the most the nose area is normally the black heads and the white heads because it's a higher area compared to the cheek. The nose is a higher area. You see that? So put more on the nose. Now, of course, again, it's the chin. The chin is also higher than the, the cheek around this area. So the chin and the nose and also the forehead. So when you see these three points, which is higher, we always tend to have the blackheads and dirt more. So all over. Okay, so as I've said, be a good painter, paint it off, you know, even it up. It's, you know, not to dab, not dab, just, you know, just paint it, just even it up. And then... After that, of course, if you have extra, you can always put it over. And then, and then once it starts to dry up, then don't don't disturb it. Let it dry. After that, and let it stay, and let let it wait for it to dry. And for me, I also leave. Uh, you know, I've started applying mask, a, a slightly thinner layer, and I sleep with it because our mask is has. Uh, it's eco-friendly. All our products has, uh, contains fresh organic herbs and it's just uh, biodegradable. So it, it, it will allow your skin to breathe. So it's just safe. It's okay to sleep with it because uh, I love it. I've been doing that you know, lately. And when I wake up, my skin, when I, after peeling off the mask, uh, after waking up, you peel off the mask, your skin, my skin glows. I love it. So you can sleep with it. It's safe. Okay. Then I have to leave it to dry. So... Uh, Let's wait for it to dry. Yes, having left it on for two or three hours, now it definitely is all dry now. So now you can remove it or I go to bed with it. It's fine because it's biodegradable, as I've said earlier, and it allows the skin to breathe. 
so it's safe to sleep with it. So right now, I'm going to show you how to remove the mask. So just from the bottom, you just take your, your finger right here, and just ro roll it out because later after that, you you feel that you can peel it off like almost one piece, one like one sheet like this. Okay, rub it out like this. Okay, like this. Keep rubbing it out so you can see right here. Then you can, yeah. So by rubbing it, you can see this thin sheet. Of course, if you apply it thicker, then it's very it's much easier to pull it out. So right now, just pull. Yeah, so upward, of course, upward movement, not pull it down. Then you, your face will suck. Pull it like this, and then keep pulling it. Yeah, you see, it's slowly coming up. Just allow, make sure you allow me to dry more, all right? And then, and then, continue to pull up, and let's see. Pull it up like this. Yeah, okay, like this. It doesn't matter, just pull it out, okay? Peel it off. So you call this all a peeling mask. Just peel it all out, okay? okay? Don't forget this area here, whatever that's left over, peel it off, okay? Just all around your hair area. Okay, so the rest of it, if you find that it's, it's stuck, you know, to the side, you know, of the skin, it's, it's difficult to move out. That's to, to remove it out, to peel it off. That's where you use a, a towel, the towel, all right? The towel, hold it nicely. And then you just have to just, yeah, you see? Once you wipe it, it cleans, it comes up pretty easy. See, it comes up pretty easy. Wipe it, nicely wipe it, gently wipe it. A, a wet towel, okay, not a dry towel. A wet towel. Re remove the rest. Okay, gently around the eye area. Then you see a little bit here. Okay, pretty good. And then that's it. I'm good. Of course, once your face is all clean, you feel nice. You feel nice because our uh, Tommy products have, uh, contains fresh organic herbs in in each and every one of them. And of course, again, as I've said, the foam cleanser. I forgot to mention to you the foam cleanser has got beta glucan, which is very moisturizing, all right? And also a uh, felinus lintus, which is mushroom extract, which is, um, they call it the vegetable worm extract, which is actually mushroom. It's also very good for the skin, and very nutritious for the skin to help the skin texture improve and also glow and have the gloss. So that's it for this uh, four set. It's very simple, not too hard once you get used to it. It's very fast do doing it. Of course, I'm doing it slow. So, Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it and come back soon for my next uh, uh, demo.